Look who showed up. Let me guess, you here for the check. You here for the check. Don't show up when we got work on the call, but you here for the check. I got, so see this guys? This is what I deal with throughout the week. Look at this. He showed up for to get the check, but won't show up to put the motor in the car. I see how it is. What's up, boys? I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I want to go ahead and let y'all know there will be no testing uh, tomorrow, this weekend. Bradenton did cancel the test session they had going on. There's some severe weather that's coming in this weekend, so I do apologize. We will not be at the racetrack, but we do have something cool happening this weekend. Saturday, I invited the crew and I invited the employees that work with us to over to the house because we're going to set up a ring. We're going to set up a boxing match. I bought two sets of gloves, two sets of headsets. I bought some mouthpieces, and we're all going to go bang to bang, round to round, and see what happens. I told the boys, if they put headsets on, I have no problem knocking them out. So that's going to be a little bit of entertainment for this weekend. We're going to have Big Daddy Brian as commentator. We're going to have Art, Big Country. They're going to be referees. We're going to have everything lined up. we got about eight to nine fighters. And we're going to be going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, round for round, and see who comes out the champion. Anyways, boys, so as you can see, there's a couple packages on the ground because I'm about to head uptown so I can drop these things off. I want to go ahead and thank each and every one of y'all that is purchasing the merchandise. Uh, it's only one of me that's shipping them out, so I do fall behind a little bit trying to do the work, trying to edit videos, shoot videos, and keep up with merch. But I trust me, I will get it out to you. And if I am a little late, I've been generous, and uh, I'll throw in another shirt or some stickers here lately. Uh, but that, it's not an excuse. I need to get better on it. I just I only have a certain amount of time and it seems like I don't have enough time in the day. But anyways, behind that is my brand new headers that are going to go on the LS build. I haven't been over at Category 5 race cars in the last couple days, but Cody's been sending me some photos. We got the motor mounted. We got the mid plate in the car. Firewall is about 85% complete. The transmission is mounted. So now we're going to go ahead and slap the headers on the heads that James let us borrow. He let us borrow a block and a set of heads for mock-up. So we'll get those slapped on there and we're going to start mocking some things up. Force induction. Jose got me hooked up with the blow off valve and the wastegate. Called me today, said the turbo will be here on Tuesday. So we'll get that stuff mocked up, have everything almost 100% complete on the car. So when I get that badass TKM Performance uh, LS piece to me in Florida, I'll be able to just slide it inside the car and we'll get ready. We'll be back out on the track here soon, boys. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and take the new Flowtech headers, put them inside the truck. We're going to go drop these packages off and then we're heading over to RR Fab Life. You know, Dennis Rogers, old Dennis Buck, because we're going to be looking at his 1964 Le Mans that he's putting together. I did a video uh, last weekend. Y'all seem to love it. So, I want to do a quick update on it. He's been working on it hard this week. He's been sending me a lot of photos of it. We're going to go over there and we're going to see what he's got going on. There's no racing going on this week. Weekend. So right now I just want to go ahead and keep things floating on here and I want to keep bringing y'all uh, awesome content and awesome people to be around. But anyways guys, we're going to take the pit mat that you know we use at the racetrack. We'll get the race rig out from underneath the barn. We'll put the pit mat down. I got boxing gloves coming. I got headgear coming and I got mouthpieces coming. Hey, Alan should be the first one to do it. Ain't he like from the military? <laughs> yeah, he should have like a fighting background. Yeah, Alan boot camp and everything. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Justin, who you got? Me and Noah. Okay. Me and Noah is the second. You know, we got Slinky. He will be here too. Tyler, Tyler's definitely getting knocked out this weekend. I so, want to know who's, who's going to get Tyler. I already told him I'd box Tyler him. Gonna fuck all if he wears headgear, I will wear Tyler's ass out. Tyler going to fuck all y'all. Yeah, all right. Didn't Tyler beat you up from the back seat? Listen, there's a difference. Hey, this is how me and Tyler. Tyler beat y'all up. Hey, you Listen, gotta pause that hold video up, right hold now, up. Cut. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Listen. This is how me and Tyler got different mentalities. When I fight Tyler, I still think of him as my brother. When Tyler fights me, I'm a fucking stranger. <laughs> he don't care. He's just done. It's done and over. So if I hit Tyler, I think, damn, I don't want to hurt him. Tyler's like, fuck you. <laughs> That's just how it is. But now he's going to have headgear on and mouthpieces. So I really won't care. <laughs> now I can go ahead and go at it. I think we should do one minute rounds. How many rounds? Like three? Three. I was gonna say one, one minute rounds. Have you ever really fought? Yeah. I was like, you gonna be dead. Well, what do you yeah. wanna do? One minute rounds are fine. You, you only gonna last dead. ten seconds. So against you. Yeah, Listen. Hey, I'm you better fight Justin. All you gotta do is just weather the storm. Why you get tired? That's what I'm saying. Ain't no tires. I got a good reach. I got composure, and I'm just gonna sit back. Come on in here and get your ass beat. Come on. 
You think my skinny ass is gonna rush you? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you come up in here, you're gonna see. Justin says he's gonna beat your ass. What I, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna rock the shit out of Justin. Justin's gonna get mad and try to wrap up with me, and I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut the shit out. <laughs> hey, yeah, all ribs are different. Do you, do you not do you eat pork chops? No. What do you he eat? Literally what eats do you eat? Plain cheeseburgers and chicken tenders. You don't eat no meat though. Do you eat meat? Yeah, like cheeseburgers, chicken plain tenders. Plain cheeseburgers. You better try your ribs. <laughs> Listen, you I'll eat know. his. I'll eat his. I'll kill some ribs. Miss, man, I got two full racks of ribs up I'll try one for you. I'm telling you right now, you're going to like them. Justin told me the other day, I said, he goes, man, I really know how to fight. I've been practicing my whole life. Rude. He goes, dude, I, I go to Rancho, get my ass beat every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I've been living for this. Yeah. You can't pop no wheelie. You can't pop no wheelie. Ah, right, go on, get out of here. Go get it, Chuck. <laughs> Alright boys, so we're over here at R and R Fab. You know Dennis Rogers shop. You can tell he lives out here in the middle of the boondocks in the woods. He got guys rolling up trying to get some work done and they're riding on a lawnmower. But that's old Chucky. He lives around here. He's a good friend of ours and uh comes over and helps from time to time. But let's go ahead and jump up in the shop real quick show y'all the updates on the 1964 Le Mans he's I've already went through and looked at it it looks beautiful guys I mean I'm I'm low-key kind of jealous like it is more nicer than my pro mod that I have at the house so let's go ahead and jump into what's up Peter Sack howdy folks we're over here at Arnold Auto Racing Fabrication the best place to we're over here. We're putting this together. We're putting that together. We're gonna make it happen, brother. I tell you right now. Woo! That's the way I feel today. Lord have mercy. I like the new handlebars. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, every once in a while, you gotta twist. One go ahead up. and uh, look to the side so we get uh, slowly pull back to me. There you go. Nice little handlebar. Kind of look like the bullhorns I just put on last Lord night. Hey, <laughs> they doubled up as stirrups too. Any ladies out there? Woo! What, what do the ladies do? Ooh, they put the legs up on them. They do? Yeah. They just like, they hold the legs up? They will. Now you hear that, Dennis? 90 Sack? mile an hour tested. I tell you what, wide open on the road. He said Ooh. it holds the legs up for Ooh. the ladies. Ooh. That's some pretty stellar stuff. All right, guys, so we're back over here at R&R &R Fab. We're going to go ahead and show you the 1964 Le Mans. Denny Bear has put a lot of work into it this week. Got it all situated. As you can see, firewalls in, mid plates in. The floor pans are all in carbon fiber fiber on the side seat is in steering wheel steering column we're going to get to talk more about this in a little bit i'm going to go ahead and just do a quick walk around because y'all did get to see the chassis how it was coming back from the powder coat so now you get to see the stuff that's put in the car fire extinguisher bottle uh co2 bottle all that stuff uh the linko is not put in it's still over there on the ground but we'll get that in later on plus you still got to put the body on but let's go ahead and walk around this thing real quick and just uh show you the ins and outs of this beautiful ride <laughs> Alright guys, so y'all got to see up underneath it. Chucky, you're back. Did you bring the lawnmower? No. No. Anyways, boys, we're gonna go ahead and uh show y'all the inside of this thing. Came out awesome. Denny Bear has uh been putting all the carbon fiber in, getting seats in, floor panels are in. Look at all that stuff down there, boys. Got the new go lithium battery. That battery's horse shit. They need to go ahead and get a braille. Uh Got a new seat up in the car. It looks very comfortable. You know what I like? I like the intricacy, the precision, the artistic way he put all of these lines in. If you notice, they're all tucked. They're all precisely broken. I'll tell you what, when you when you pay attention to detail, 
details, let me say it again, to the details that r and Fab puts on this, I tell you what, mm -mm -mm. ain't nobody can compare it to it. Look at it right there. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, fire extinguisher lines in. We got a CO2 bottle back here. That's our uh, nitrous bottle rack right there. Carbon fiber in. Pieces all the way over the top. Got C right there. We got steering column. That's a hefty steering column. You ain't ever got to worry about bending that shit. <laughs> we got the pedals in. Check out that. What about the adjustable pedals? Oh yeah, well they go, they go forward and back. There you go, adjust them up. Ways. And go ahead and let them know how the, the parachute, or I'm sorry, not the parachute, the window net works. Check it out. Oh, quick connect. Just like that. Right there, we got the carbon fiber up top. You can see all that fire extinguisher line right there. You gotta have those. Check out this uh, mid plate with the floor pan. And Danny Bear, you told me that when you put the housing in right here, that it goes down in between the mid plate and that pan right there. Right so it's 100% sealed. Yes, sir. Nothing comes inside. Mm-hmm. That's right. 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 It's like fucking sequence over here. <laughs> also, we got the firewall in. You can see that. Was it pretty hard building that right there? Uh, Let's yeah, take a little bit of time. How long does it take to do a firewall in a car? Mm. Two day, three days? Yeah, about that. Let's check out that. And uh now you did that, you you drilled out the holes to what? Like every what's that every three inches? Uh, about four. Three, three and a half, four. Peter, pull pull out the pecker. <laughs> uh, <three. laughs> well, I can tell you that. It, it it would be at least six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> now what's this up here? What's this mount right here on the, the actually, radio? That that attaches to the hood scoop. And then the hood scoop comes back and attaches to the window frame. That's on the, the body itself? And once that is attached, this guy here don't move at all. Hell so what yeah. you're saying is that the, the hood scoop will actually stay there and you can take the front end yes. off and the hood yeah. scoop would stay? Correct. Man, that what, is awesome. What kind I of hood like scoop do they run? They run like one of them big snorkels like I got? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how long do you think you give them until they, that thing goes boom, boom pops off? Because, you know, I, I go through about 10 of them a year. So go ahead and uh, come back over here to R&R &R Fab talking about, hey, we need a mountain <laughs> <in the> scoop. <laughs> I go through a lot of them, guys. I, I gave up doing trays right. a year ago because right. I went ahead and uh, I gave up painting them too. Painting them, four or five hundred dollars to paint them and then you go out there and just backfire, I like you're done. black hood scoop. Black hood scoop's I on like the car the now. Looks scoop. good, boys. Check out that titanium dry shaft tunnel. That carbon fiber looks nice down in there, boy. What's uh the big yellow box back there with the uh, four different... Controller for the rear shot. He got some high tech shit. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> we got the shocks, but we got the controller. Yeah. Right, right. Where's the shocks at? Um, Steve has those. Yeah, well, he needs to get them down here so we can put them on the car. I want to see what they look like. Maybe it'll jack it up, you know, like one of them low riders. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Mm, I like that two tree bats. Oh, yeah, you told me you wanted to show me the shock now. Upper shock. Let me go ahead and get out of your way. Check out that right there, boys. As you can see, we have adjustable shock mounts up top. So you're able to put a 14 inch shock on this car, 15 inch. I think you said all the way up to 18 inch, right? Yeah. On a, on a big tire setup. So tire. you're able to move this around. Uh, on my no prep car at the house, I do not have the ability to be able to move my shocks around. So we had to make things work. I had to cut some stuff out of the car and get it all ready. But Alcatraz on the other hand is a pro mod from Rick Jones and it does come with quarter inch increments. I'm able to change a lot of stuff. Can you, uh, Danny Bear, hmm? explain a little bit about this uh, drive shaft enclosure, big old box? Well, actually the car originally was gonna be a back half car. Okay. So I started. And then y'all decided y'all want to do a full chassis. Yep. So anyway, it was going to be a back half car, and then they decided to do a full out deal. So that part was already built, so it stayed. We weren't cutting it out. It was too no, nice. That's right. It was too nice. But it gave you a little bit of room because you're able to put the. Yo, you can put some Mick Ultra. Hey, Lonson. Yeah, you put a cooler back there. That's right. Mick Ultra. Somebody said Mick Ultra? Wait, wait, wait. 
Where, where are you wait, buying? Wait. Where are you buying dinner at Where's, tonight? That's what I want to know. Where? Lord have mercy! Uh, I can buy dinner. You, just, buy. You, you guys would allow me to do that. Buy dinner. I feel honored. I feel so. Honored. When do you think you're gonna have the body on the car? I think tomorrow afternoon it, it'll be ready to put this on. And where's the big old wheel tubs? Uh, they're in the trailer. And uh, they get uh, bolted in too. How many bolts have you put inside this thing yet? Uh, well, I Ooh. ordered 600. I'm probably at 450 so far. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hey, you still got my old window here? Right up there. Oh, right up there in the corner, boys. I uh, had a window blow out over in Orlando Speed World on uh, Armageddon back in the day. And old uh, Dennis Sack here, he was there at the uh, track with us, and he took one of a uh, piece of cardboard, yep. and we and made a window and duct with tape. duct tape, and we duct taped the window. I can tell you that was the darkest ride I ever had in my All life. Right. There's no sunlight coming in at that point. But uh, he kept the window here, and that happened, what, four years ago, yeah, maybe? Yeah. It's been a while, three and a half, four hey, years. Hey, did, you, did you sign it though? Did you sign the window? Yeah, it's done. And I signed oh, the cardboard too. Oh man! Hell yeah! You might be able to sell it for something. You might, <laughs> you might get like a dollar fifty. All right, guys. So we did a quick little walk around. Got to talk with Dennis a little bit uh, about what's going on, and I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a update of the 1964 Le Mans over here. Uh, a lot of y'all seem to like the first video of us putting it together. So I want to give y'all a quick update. We will be coming back over here to R and R Fab to be able to see what it's like with the body on, and I want to keep up with this process. One for y'all, for myself, because it is a beautiful car. It came out awesome. Uh, Denny Baron, the guys over here, they did amazing work. I mean, it. it looks as good as my pro mod if not better uh and that's saying a lot just the guys over there rick jones jerry bickle all them guys are the best of the best in the world and to be able to line up with them and building a chassis it uh it's a great accomplishment so they came out awesome and uh, well, thank firewall you. everything everything lines up there's nothing that cut any corners nothing's rigged on it no different colors we ain't got different brake calibers Right. <laughs> so, and uh, I even like these little bullet deals you can get at the end to be able to weld those on. I don't know if y'all can see those, boys. I don't want to hit my head on it. But, uh, came out awesome. But, anyways, guys, I want to go ahead and let y'all know what I did because I do follow the channel very well. I do read. I do read every comment and I try to interact with y'all as much as I can. With that being said, a lot of y'all were pissed off that I wasn't gonna put a body on the LS build over at Category 5 race cars. Well, today's the day, boys. I purchased me a body. I got a 2002 Camaro on the way. It will be coming here. I will be putting it on. I hope it makes y'all happy just as much as it makes me happy. But I do need y'all to head over to www.swangang.com and pick up some merch because it went and put a big dent in my pocket. And I got to be able to recoup from this. I'm just kidding, boys. But I do appreciate it. If y'all do go over there and pick up your merch, wear it proud. But we got a body coming. We got a lot of things going on in the channel. You got Aftermath. Alcatraz just sitting in the corner collecting dust. We got the LS build. We also need to come up with a name for that. So if y'all could drop a comment down below what you think we should name that car, let's go ahead and get with it. So anyways, boys, we're not going to make this a super long video. It's just a quick little update because we are not going to the track this weekend. But don't forget... Saturday, we will be throwing a boxing match amongst the crew and the guys that work with us. So next week's vlog that we'll be dropping out, you're going to get some, somebody is getting knocked out. I don't know who it's going to be. I hope it's not me, but somebody is getting their ass beat. So I just want to go ahead and uh, thank you all one more time. I've said it since the beginning of this channel. We just hit 34,500. I wouldn't be nobody without y'all. Y'all are what makes this channel keep on going around and let's keep on growing as a whole. I'll see y'all at the next video.